Seattle is a large city in Washington state in the northwest of the USA. Today, it's probably most famous for its great coffee and its wet weather. But traditionally, Seattle was a port town. At the turn of the 20th century, most people here made their money from the area's abundant natural resources, and the city's two biggest industries were logging and fishing. Today, Seattle is home to some of the largest multinational companies in the world, so logging is not nearly as important as it once was. But fishing still plays a vital role in the local economy. It is estimated that the commercial fishing industry is worth around $6 billion and employs more than 10,000 people. One employer is the Pike Place Fish Market, which was founded in 1930. The open-air market was initially very successful, but business declined throughout the 20th century. Supermarkets became significantly more popular, and by 1986, the fish market was almost bankrupt. Today, however, business is booming. At its busiest, the market attracts up to 10,000 customers every day. And they don't just come for the fish. The market has become one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. Visitors come to see the famous flying fish and to enjoy the hustle and bustle of a typical market day. Most of all, they come to have fun. So what's responsible for this change in fortunes? The current owner, John Yokoyama, bought the fish market in 1965. For over 20 years, he worked tirelessly and demanded the same of his employees. He was quite strict and severe but nothing seemed to work. The fishmongers weren't happy and fewer people were coming to the market. John decided to change his entire management style. He realized that in order to transform the business, he needed to motivate the staff. At that time I met Jim Berkwist who brought this new philosophy into the market and he enrolled me into taking that on. And uh, he brought a new philosophy in the, in the philosophy of being and since that time, the company has just grown hands over fist. No, I mean, every year we break records. He wanted everybody, from the manager to the market trader, to feel part of the business. So he created a shared goal and asked each member of staff to make it happen. The goal was simple, to make Pike Place Fish Market world famous. To do this, they decided they weren't just selling fish, they were selling a whole consumer experience. The fishmongers invented games like catch the fish. They played practical jokes and started shouting and repeating every customer's order. The more fun the workers had, the more good it did the business. Soon the marketplace was buzzing with the sound of flying fish, laughing customers and the shouts of the market traders. Before long, the team had achieved their ambition and today Pike Place Fish Market is world famous, both for its fresh fish and its positive management style. In 1998, the team were featured in a corporate video on teamwork and motivation. This has transformed workplaces across the globe, and the market has been featured in all kinds of books and articles. In 2001, CNN named Pike Place Fish Market as the most fun place to work in the United States. The Pike Place Fish Market has become well known for its vibrant atmosphere and playful staff, but behind the fun, is a strong commitment to friendly service and quality products. And from wild Alaskan crab to sockeye salmon, the Pike Place Fish Market will be selling world-famous seafood for a long time to come. <laughs>